<laughs> okay. Um, what are the most common challenges a scrum master faces with a product owner? Well, number one, if you know me, you'll know this one. Most product owners aren't trained. There's somebody from somewhere within the business who have been told they're a product owner. End of training. They're not bad people. They just don't know what that means. So they continue to do what they're doing because why wouldn't they? They haven't been told any different. So the number one challenge for any Scrum Master is making sure your product owner knows the responsibilities of the role. What's on them? How to do that job? Okay. Maybe you can get them on some training. I won't be upset if they turn up on my product owner course. Maybe you're going to work with them. They're close enough. They've got a good idea. They need to understand what, how the team works, what the meetings are for. Okay. And critically, how to do their job well, which leads me to the second big challenge. Most products, never mind product owners, most products in business don't have a clear vision. They don't have a goal. Okay. Without that, how can you form a team? A team requires a goal to be a team. It has to have a common goal to work towards. That product vision, that product goal is part of that answer. This is critical. If you don't have a product owner who could articulate a compelling vision, why would the developers care? Work with them. Spend some time, explain the importance of goals, on motivation, on coherence. Okay, Help them craft it. It needs to come from them. It's a product owner's duty to actually have that vision to be able to articulate it. They are likely the best person as well. But it has to be something that appeals to the emotional side, not just the logical side. Okay. So that is another key thing. Make sure they have a vision that they can articulate it so the team can get on board. Beyond that, it is often about questions like who writes backlog item who writes the user story okay how do I write a user story your role as a scrum master is to bring this knowledge to bring these tools together around product backlog management about backlog creation you need to know how to do their job so get out there learn it I strongly recommend that you learn about things like user story mapping and user stories themselves that you learn about the business model canvas, value proposition canvases, the lean canvas, all of these tools already exist. And they're a great place for you to pull ideas from. If you don't want to use it directly, that's OK. They're great places to take ideas from, to learn more ways of helping your product owner so that when it comes to that conversation and the normal things you do don't work, you have some extra tools to bring to the table to help them articulate what they need this product to do in a way that does not tell the devs how to do their job. Okay. So when we're working with them, we need to provide the tools, but also we need to reinforce that it is not on the product owner, the product person to describe a solution. It's not on them to say how to do the job. You don't tell a surgeon how to do their job. You leave it to the expert. Why would it be any different in the product development world? The product owner is an expert in what people want and why they want them. The developers are in how to solve that problem. Help your product owners stay in their space. Some will have a tendency to drift. Some may not, and that's great. So there's three things that we see with product owners that Scrum Masters will face. They are challenges. They are absolutely overcomable. What you often have to do is look at their role, learn their role, okay? Not to do it, but to help them do their job better. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you wanna hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.